Ow. Ow. Never been nominated for a Golden Globe. Never happened. It but will. Thank you. thank you. I love when a voice of God answers you back. How's everyone's barada? Good, good. Good evening. Yes, I have lost weight, thank you. Our next guest is a very close friend of mine, and I am so honored to be here to introduce him tonight. Many of you know him as the president of HRC, but I know him as a truly inspiring, wickedly talented, one and only Shade Grezim. When HRC announced in 2012 that he was going to be moving to Washington, D.C. to be their new president, I have to tell you, my first thought was, really, Shade? I, I knew he was born and raised in Arkansas. I, I knew he had worked in the White House at age eight, uh, 19, the youngest ever to, to be in the West Wing at that time. But I thought for sure that Shade was, was our guy. He belonged to Los Angeles. So, but it turns out we were, we were right to be gracious and let him leave because in his nearly two years on the job at HRC, he has helped lead the LGBT movement to some of its biggest victories ever. <laughs> classic Sade though, that's classic. A historic sweep in 2012 elections bringing a record number of LGBT people to Congress and the first ever ballot box victories for marriage equality. A deeper and wider work in all, 50 and, in all 50 states and a new global engagement program to support the fight for equality around the world. And of course, last year's Supreme Court victory in the case against Prop 8. Now, who helped bring it to court five years ago? Shade Grizim. Shade did, Mr. Grizim. That's who. He truly has taken advantage of his time in Washington, D.C. and knowing him, as well as I do, I can just tell you that this is only the beginning. Let's watch this video about Shade Grezim. <laughs> <laughs> 